everyone. Let's complete the second part and the last part of our uh, project for uh, using so far what we have learned in ladder logic programming. So let me remind you here we are going to uh, make this machine uh, operate by uh, running the, uh, the motor M1 for the conveyor until it reaches to the position for the bottle to reach the position uh, uh, identified by the filling station position uh, identified by S2 and then it will stop at that uh, time waiting for the filling to complete and uh, the filling starts by the signal given uh, by the S2 sensor and once, uh, once the filling has been recognized to reach to the, f the, the bottle has been completely filled by the uh, thanks to the S1 sensor uh, it will close the valve for stop filling and the process should continue again and the, here at that position we finished the part one so let's continue from this position so the program so far we have is here so uh, we completed the at this position so once the filling now uh, started so uh, this valve will stop by the filling uh, marked by S1 level uh, filling. If it is open at that uh, time, this one will uh, will uh, stop. But not only this one will stop, but also we need the conveyor here to the conveyor to continue uh, to reaching to the uh, cabbing station. So, so another way here to let the motor to run again because here uh, at that position uh, uh, the S1 filling position once we are reaching to this position and we still at this position okay so we still at this position so this uh, this motor uh, still open so le let me run it uh, for you to let the things clear so now the motor still stopped because we are in the filling position but we like uh, uh, the level show, shows us now uh, we are now uh, like uh, reaching to the fill position. So by this one, okay, we should continue this uh, this thing. So we need to be bypass this one just in case if we have S1 is complete. So we're gonna make another branch here. So uh, let's make another branch here for uh, this way to continue and continue. I'm sorry. And okay. So let's continue for this one and adding one, two, and then closing here. So I, I don't need this one, but just I, I, I bought it to extend this, uh, this movement. So here, uh, what is that? This is the uh, level. So once the level here, it takes this one as a copy paste. So once the level here uh, closes, that mean we are at the position of filling, yes, that's true, but we uh, reaching to the uh, full of the bottle, uh, the, the bottle has been filled up to the top, so we need to continue running again. If there's no stopping and there's no, uh, we are not at the cabbing position. So let's just try this. Uh, see, I already have the complete program and, the, and, and I'm thinking like uh, uh, loud, uh, out loud with you to let you uh, like try with me and to like uh, completely experience the uh, process with me. So here, uh, if we like running, uh, so we need to update the program first, what we have just done. So now if we running the process here, you can see we reach it to this uh, position and it was like disconnecting the the bus to running the motor but we by busing this uh, filling position when we have the uh, level reaching to fall so again here what 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 what, what the operation here uh, is in like we are still here reaching to fill and this uh, filled bottle bottle will continue moving until reaching to this position so once reaching to this position which is a calving position so if we make this calving position energized like the context, this context, so it is stop now at the calving position, which is totally correct here. And we need at that point, at that very point, to energize the piston to this piston will 
process the uh, the uh, cover uh, of the bottle to make the capping process so we need to add another rung here another rung here for the capping process and is this capping process it will like uh, oh, I gonna run I'm sorry it added here the this because the position was there so I'm just adding stopping adding and latching so I think now guys you become even uh, better than me in the programming so we are adding for latching and closing this thing so this thing will be S3 I don't know if yeah we have S3 here so S3 will run the motor again okay uh, no not not run the motor again I'm sorry running the best time so I have the best time like uh, I don't know what is uh, what is the best time is so I don't have one for the business, so I'm adding the uh, 12 or uh, like uh, 6 and this one I will name it like uh, this is renamed to uh, B1 business. Okay, so I just like adding this one. So here this is the best term and I will stop by for sure for the stop at any time we can stop the process until we see if there is any reason to stop or not and also this is the best again the one so the best thing we're running at that moment so let's say at the very moment to continue the update the program and after updating the program let's uh, run see now you can see here the process is stopped because of reaching to the calving position and the best time starting the process so we are here now the bottom is here calving is starting and the calving will uh, take some time so it should be having a timer here to uh, to just let the uh, this one like count uh, count the four sometimes and then continue moving the uh, continue moving the, uh, the, uh, the the conveyor and repeat the process again so because we're not completing the uh, timer session uh, video session so we'll do something like uh, a ending of scabbing like uh, like uh, like like let's say uh, let's say the contact for the counter is something like uh, like uh, ending the counter so I will make this is will be like uh, uh, the timer uh, contact so this timer contact will be like M12.7 and this one I will assume this one I will name it like uh, timer done like now timer is uh, counted for this one once it's counted piston will uh, will, uh, will will stop and the, what I need to do is after business uh, stop I will just let the motor running so I need a third bus and uh, no I have I, I also I need like uh, not a third bus but I need here I'm at cabin but the timer is not there so I need uh, to bypass the point of cabbing for not stopping because I am at the cabbing but the cabbing is done so I need to bypass this one so I need to just make a parallel switch here which is the timer this timer so I will stop here and adding one branch like this one and then adding this copy that I have and then closing this one so if the cabbing happened that means this will done but also my friends uh, uh, the, I'm sorry this is this is a stop uh, uh, no 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 this is yeah this is a timer so once the timer is done okay the timer is done will open this uh, this wire so the piston will stop and here the timer will be working here so this is the timer done once the timer is done uh, I'm sorry I need this to be on it will be by passing this uh, this one and continue <coughs> continue running the motor until the stop happen oh let's see so let's see here uh, for example like if we loading this one okay and and now you can see I am still stopping the motor because I am at the filling position so if the timer continue counting until it is done so once it is done it will move to one this counter done so this tomorrow stop and you will see here another bus makes the motor to running continue running okay continue running 
until another button, okay, another bottle reaching to this position to stop the motor. That's the repeating of the, the process again and again, okay? So uh, this will continue until what happened, like this timer is done, but once the timer, because the timer is counting, uh, so the, the counter is done, okay? So the, 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 uh, the timer is done with the, with the time of capping, so it will mark it on, and then, and then the, the, the position will, will let this one to uh, like, uh, uh, continue uh, forever for the cycle. Uh, so guys, thanks for watching, and we're completing this thing, and I remind you, next time we'll complete the counter, complete the counter session, completing the timer session, at that time we'll have been ready to uh, back to this project and counting the the processed bottles and also using the time and instead the the contact that we used in this time thank you for uh, being me, uh, very patient uh, with me uh, to learn a, a new uh, thing and uh, to uh, uh, like uh, uh, re make a revision for what you have learned so far and I hope to see you very soon in uh, one another video session in our BDC uh, programming using the uh, ladder logic. Thank you and have a good day.